Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss the following question, and the question says. Jane had 500 shares of face value $100 in a company paying X percent dividend. Later, she sold one fifth shares when the price rose to $180, and the remaining shares when the price again rose by 30 percent. Then she invested the total proceeds in 15 percent. Hundred dollars of a company at one eighty dollars and increased her income by six thousand eight hundred dollars. Find the value of X. Let's start the solution now. We are given that Jane had five hundred shares of face value hundred dollars. And the rate of dividend is X percent. So annual income from 500 shares of hundred dollars each, paying X percent dividend. Is equal to number of shares into face value into dividend since the annual income from one share is face value of one share into dividend, therefore. Annual income from 500 shares is number of shares multiplied by annual income from one share, that is face value into dividend. This is equal to number of shares is 500 into face value, which is 100 into dividend, which is x percent, that is x upon 100 dollars. These zeros get cancelled, so this is equal to 500x dollars. It is given that later she sold one fifth shares when the price rose to 180 dollars. So the selling price of one fifth shares. That is one fifth of five hundred, which is equal to hundred at one eighty dollars per share, is equal to the number of shares that is hundred into one eighty dollars. This is equal to eighteen thousand dollars. It is also given that she sold the remaining shares when price again rose by thirty percent. So new increased price per share is equal to. One thirty upon hundred into price of one share, which is one eighty dollars. This is equal to two thirty four dollars. Now the total number of shares is five hundred, and out of those one fifth shares, that is hundred, were sold at one eighty dollars per share. So the remaining shares are 400 in number, and selling price of remaining 400 shares when the price rose by. 
30% is equal to 400 into new increased price per share which is $234. This is equal to $93,600. So the total income from sale of shares is equal to $18,000 plus $93,600. This is equal to $1,116,000. It is given that then she invested the total proceeds in 15% $100 of a company at $180. So this total amount is invested in $180 shares. Therefore, number of shares purchased at $180 per share is equal to 111600 which is the total income upon price of one share which is 180 0 gets cancelled and 18 620 times is 11160 so this is equal to 620. Now the annual income from dividend on these shares is equal to number of shares into face value into rate of dividend so this is equal to number of shares is 620 into face value of one share which is given to be 100 into rate of dividend which is 15 percent so 15 upon 100 dollars these zeros get cancelled so this is equal to 9300 dollars now we are given that she increased her income by 6800 dollars now the difference of income is $9,300 minus $500x dollars. So difference in income is equal to $9,300 minus $500x dollars. But Increase in income is given to be $6,800. Therefore, $9,300 minus 500x is equal to 6,800. This implies 500x is equal to 9,300 minus 6,800. This implies 500x is equal to 2,500. 
This implies x is equal to 2500 upon 500. Zeros get cancelled and 5, 5 times is 25. So this is equal to 5. Therefore, x is equal to 5%. So dividend is equal to 5%. This is the final answer. With this we end our session. Hope you enjoyed the session.